I don't know if you've ever looked at the map of California to look at our legislative districts, but I call them the drunken salamanders. They're wiggle all over the place and they're drawn in irrational ways, but it's really quite rational. It's the incumbents ensuring their own re-election. And in the end, we don't let people set their individual tax rates. That would be silly. And we shouldn't let the members of the legislature decide how we district California. The truth is, in 1992, when the court did it, it was far more competitive than it had been for a long time. And we wound up with a record number of women and actually a record number of minorities elected to this body. In 2002, when it came back inside the legislature and was done in the back room by the two leaders of the Democratic Party and the two leaders of the Republican Party, what you got was the Incumbent Protection Act. You got not a fair reapportionment, you got districts that were drawn to ensure that existing members of the legislature were able to stay here. And as a result, we wind up with Democratic districts that are far more liberal than the average Californian is, and Republican districts that are far more conservative. As a result, when they're doing anything but reapportionment, they have a devil of a time getting together. I think it's important that California step up at this time. Just as the progressives stepped up at the turn of the last century and said they were tired of having special interests run the state, it's time for the people to step up again and say so we don't want special interests running the state, running the legislature because of these gerrymandered districts. And by the way, it's a red herring when they talk about how much the commission's going to cost. You know what they spend on the reapportionment committees in this house? Bundles. Big staff, lots of time spent, lots of outside consultants getting paid lots of money. End of the day, California needs to make sure that if nothing else, the elections are fair and even-handed and open to the public. And the democratic principle is to have fair and open elections. That's why we have to support the Proposition 20 and defeat Proposition 27.